Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode of Fishing with Alias. Look what I got here. I got a brand new Old Town Topwater 10.6. This kayak is a tiny package. They said that they didn't compromise anything on it. They said that they came up with, they tried to give you as much fishability as they could in a small package. And let me just give you a walkthrough of this kayak. We're gonna be talking about those things that they added and my opinions about the kayak. Let's get to it. Let me start from here, from the back. Right here, we got this really nice strong handle, easy to lift the kayak. I was taking it out of the garage and I put it here and it, it wasn't that heavy. It's about 73 pounds, but it didn't feel like 73 pounds. You got this humongous tank well, look at that. See, this is a humongous tank well and it's like separated into, for example, right here on this little spot, you could definitely put in your live well and, and also have enough space right here to take your, your milk crate or your black pack or whatever camping gear you need to take with you super huge in the middle you can see that it has one and two and three flush mounted rod holders meaning you don't have to take any other rod holder with you you can use the one that comes with the boat unless you're gonna take like seven rods another thing that I like about it so far look at this one two cup holders these people are smart you need you need your water and you need your energy drink or your beer or your water you know what i mean look at that that is under the seat i'm gonna put the seat now after i finish with this part under the seat you could throw in a lot of stuff like your plano boxes uh your plastic whatever you need to take with you and then right here it has a nice little pocket that you could throw your lures uh like you, you, when you change your lures you can just drop it in or your phone or something like that it's a really nice idea what you're looking at right here is for the sitting position you got a low and high sitting position but i'm gonna cover that now once i flip the kayak look at this guys first time ever to my knowledge that old town comes with the tracks the gear tracks and these are about 18 inches long and look at this they're plastic of course but you could drop in right here your track board or whatever jack attack accessory you have and you could just slide it up and put it exactly where you need it and you have the same one right here. It comes with these foot pedals. They're really nice. They're easy to adjust. You just bring this down and put it where you want it. And boom. And I really like it so far. Look, it has a nice built-in padding right here. And it has a ruler, bro. Look at this. You can measure your fish quickly. And I mean, if you're going to go snapper fishing or bass fishing, whatever, you want to take a quick me measurement of that uh, fish you got, you just throw it in there and boom super easy and you have this stand assist thing right here if you need it also look at this guys these are the true hole connection to install your fish finder one of the things that they want to do is they want to make it easy to install your fish finder you have a lot of storage inside that you could drop in things that you don't need right away and also it comes with this thing right here to put in your battery and you have another super strong handle right there and of course the drain and it's about 34.5 inches wide they came up with a brand new design they call it the w design and look at that it makes one u and it makes another u and that allows it to be super stable it feels like a really nice kayak i don't know how well it paddles i'm gonna be testing that out so stay tuned for those videos but it does feel like it's gonna be a stable kayak right here on the back you get that that little rubber thingy you could replace it that's an awesome idea i have kayaks that i have destroyed the kill with that you could just replace it you don't have to worry about it if you're dragging it and if you're gonna be using this in rivers and things like that you're gonna be dragging this kayak so you you want to have that right here let's talk about that universal transducer setup look at that there is no nothing that is stopping you from putting a giant transducer you got this plate right here that you could mount the transducer thingy and look at that look at all that space that you have there amazing stuff i really like that idea your transducer cable will go run through here and the transducer will be installed here amazing Later on, I'm gonna make a video about rigging this kayak, of course, so stay tuned for that. You got one, two, three, four, six, seven scoper holes. And you also have your paddle handle, or holder, I should say. Boom. Now, let's talk about the seat. This is the brand new Element 
seat, Element Air seat. And you have a low seating position right here. And you have a high seating position right here. Now this, the way that it holds it in place, you gotta like push hard and that's gonna make it boom it's not going anywhere that is the high sitting position so let's go ahead and put this back and sit on it very comfortable you got the high sitting position right here and you got the stand assist. Let's go ahead and switch to the low sitting position. Now this is the version, the 10 feet version. They have a slightly longer version than the 12 feet and also this version right here, not this one exactly, but there's gonna be one that is gonna be called the Topwater PDL and that is because it's gonna come in with a pedal drive system that is gonna go in there. But, you know, if you're gonna be fishing reverse, if you don't care about pedal drive system, this may be the kayak for you. So what do you guys think about the brand new Topwater by Old Town? Is this a kayak that you will buy or you rather have the pedal drive version? Well, I'm going to be in ICAS next week and hopefully they have that one for me to, to test and a bunch of other people. But if, um, you know, if you see this video many days, months later, check the playlist. There's going to be a playlist about this kayak in specific and of course the other ones, uh, the pedal drive one and the longer one. So yeah, stay tuned for that.